Female great white sharks at Mexico's Guadalupe Island are among the biggest in the world. With the help of shark experts on this expedition, we shed light on the truth behind the fins. Are these predators really man killers responsible for numerous deaths? Or are they rather the victims of serious misunderstandings? Let's see what happens when a human enters the empire of the great whites. Many people ask me why I love uh, sharks, and especially great white sharks. Uh, they can't understand because they think that they are uh, killers. For me, they are the most beautiful animal on the planet. For me, sharks are the most beautiful form of art. So when uh, I enter the water with them, really I feel something like divine. And uh, it's such a strong impression that every time it's like the first time. Really, I will never get used to dive with them. The expedition crew don't use what many experts consider unethical methods to bait these animals closer. A few examples of such methods are the use of meat and shark liver in the chum, or pulling the bait too close to the cage. Some cage dive operators use these techniques to force the sharks to behave in a spectacular manner and become violent with the cage. This can be seen in some internet videos when the great whites attack the cage and aggressively bite at the frame. Here, it's completely different. 100% safety record on this boat. Um, which we like to maintain and we do that through knowing what we're doing, very experienced in the field, respecting the animals and keeping the passengers safe at the same time. We use what we're allowed which is in our permit which is baits and hand lines uh, and to bring the sharks to the boat. So um, yeah that's what we don't use uh, unethical methods of baiting or anything like that. We use what we're allowed to do and we're, we're giving the sharks uh, t primarily tuna heads. Which, uh, which is what they're out there feeding on, you know, naturally. Great white sharks are usually very quiet animals. Many of them are not even angry. They just come to the boat to play. So even when they bite the cage, very rarely, sometimes they do, and they look inside the cage, they watch people. For them, it's mostly because they are curious animals. So exactly like children, they used to put uh, items in the mouth to explore them. This is the reason for many shark attacks. So the shark really doesn't want to eat the human. It's clear that these huge four to four and a half meter long animals are swimming next to the cage calmly, even though their physical superiority over the human visitors is evident. The question arises, if these predators can be so indifferent to humans, why are there so many shark attacks every year? Or is this just another misconception we need to put behind us? In fact, if you look at the data, you will see that the, the cases where the shark, the great white shark, has actually eaten the human are very, very rare. There is plenty of animals that are more dangerous than sharks. So for example, dogs kill many more people than sharks. Then someone uh, is gonna say, yes, but dogs live with us, but even great whites. Great whites are distributed in the whole world. They are with us all the time. Simply we don't see them because they used to live underwater. They're a wild animal, you know, that has got a bad reputation for, for whatever reason that the, the media portrays them in this completely different light to what we see on the trips. So that's a huge part of the trip is coming out and People feel that they've known the animal all their lives through seeing it on TV. This gives them the opportunity to 
make up their own minds about what is actually a very different animal to what is primarily portrayed on TV. Perhaps it is their fearsome aspect that misleads so many to think sharks are the most dangerous creatures in the world. But if we were to compile a list of dangerous animals, they would be somewhere at the bottom with five to 10 accidents per year ending in death. It's hard to believe, but the lowly mosquito kills around two million people per year. Snakes are responsible for the death of hundreds of thousands. Scorpions murder 5,000. And even elephants, bees, and jellyfish outdo the great white and other sharks. Statistically speaking, in much of the world, we are 200,000 times more likely to die from an infection from a mosquito bite than to become the prey of a shark. But regardless of this, we humans refuse to live with sharks in peace and without fear. And although they aren't a significant threat to us, the opposite is not true. Sharks are in danger worldwide. Many shark population have decreased or something like 90% in the last 40 years. There are estimates uh, saying that uh, we kill uh, approximately 100 million sharks per year. It's crazy. Then the estimate is surely wrong because uh, there are plenty of countries that still are not collecting any data about shark fisheries. So really, it's impossible to know the true number. We kill 100 million sharks per year. And sharks are still portrayed as killers. This is nonsense to me. Thus, it is a very real possibility that we will forever eradicate these unique and ancient creatures. And even though great whites were around for millions of years before our species even existed, it could happen sooner than you might think. The elimination of sharks upsets the ecological balance, which leads to an increase in certain prey populations and a consequent decline in other prey species. The stability of marine ecosystems is in serious danger, and a worldwide effort is needed to maintain our ocean wildlife heritage. If the great white shark is wiped from the earth, we will not only start a series of extinctions which will have unpredictable consequences for us as well, but we would deprive the world of something extraordinary. With great whites, you feel something very, very special, very precious, that will remain inside you for the rest of your life. It's beautiful. It's a, a once-in-a-lifetime experience. We really must find a way to protect our environment. And it's not only for the sharks. This is the most important thing, because this is our planet. It's our only world.